Hey, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So this is basically a rogue tech series that we just go down and trash stuff and grab stuff and that's pretty much it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the surface. We've heard that there's some pirates uh, operating on um, one side of the planet. They've been terrorizing villages and stuff. So we're going to head over there and smash them and get some salvage off them. We're still uh, sitting only at three mechs, unfortunately. We started off with three. That's all we got. So we're going to go down and pull this mission off. Hopefully get some more, get some salvage off these guys and, uh, you know, try and put together another mech that we can use. So I'll see you guys down on the surface. All right, so we've been wandering around on the surface for a little bit, trying to find these guys. Looks like we found them, finally. Um, not sure how many of them there are, um, but we're going to move up here and certainly find out. Well, it looks like there's three at least. All right. So the last episode wasn't so bad. Uh, we managed to punish some guys. The first episode we were fighting 10 mechs and managed to come out okay. Looks like we got uh, two lights and a medium here. And they ain't moving, so my guess is they got reinforcements coming. So we're going to have to kill these guys fast. But they can't be that tough. If they've been uh, moving around, looting and pillaging, they've probably taken some damage. So let's see how much that, what the extent of that damage is. All right, Blackjack, what do we got here? Commando 1B, not much armor. Let's fire everything on them. Hmm, maybe not. Let's leave the mediums off for now. Actually, we'll leave two off. Fire the rest. Might get lucky. Nope. But we're not using up any heat by doing that, so it's okay. Looks like just three guys on this side. No hits. My guess, maybe a Vindicator? I don't know, LRM-10? Could be a Centurion, too. Uh, we need to get closer. Let's move into here. So we got a pretty good loadout now on our uh, Jaeger mech. Uh, let's fire everything. Ever since we swapped the uh, the double heatsink kit from the Assassin into the uh, um, Jaeger mech, things have been a little better. Okay, so there's four mechs on this side. So we're going to reserve here. <clears throat> it's kind of nice that the Assassin's a medium mech but goes in the light phase. We're going to reserve again. They're probably all going to reserve too. Wait, do they have a heavy mech? Ooh. Okay, let's get you up. You're my melee buddy. You're my melee guy here, so let's not get too exposed. Let's fire from a distance on this guy. And we're going to fire everything. Actually, we'll leave, we'll leave the flamers off. Don't really need to fire the flamers. Wow, a whole lot of nothing. That's okay. The, the assassin's meant to be a close range mech anyway. Yeah, they got reinforcements coming. This is going to be a nasty fight. Alright, Steve. Let's get up here. Get in the range with more weapons. Fire everything. Alright. Fusion core crit. Let's see if he moves. Nope. That's alright. We're going to move in to here. I think we might fire with everything this time. Yeah, we got much better chances to hit. We'll fire with everything. everything I've got. Accuracy through volume of fire. Apparently not today, though. Alright, come on. Okay, Centurion moving into range. I think I'm going to have the assassin move in and take this guy's arm off. Doesn't have much armor. So Commando's not really a threat right now, so I'm not worried about him running away. I would be if he had, if he was like... Whoa! That's a nasty heavy mech. Centurion's got the AC-20, so we're going to have to take that arm off. And he's running that way. No idea what that guy is, but 
We're going to try and take this guy's arm off. So we're going to move in here. Let's attack him. Position confirmed. If we can get rid of that AC-20, things will be better. Hmm, 48. Where do we hit, though? I think that was a torso hit. Tagged. Nice. Where do we get him? Yeah, torso. All right. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Thank you, Captain Obvious. We knew they were coming. All right, we're going to have to wheel to the left here. Looks like light mech's coming in. All right, what do we got? Commando coming back. Couple of misses. Okay. It's almost like that guy went over there to get his buddies. Ah, a couple points. Kind of glad I got this Jaeger mech because uh, it's got lots of armor. All right, Possum, let's get ourselves starting to move this way. We'll be able to see... What's this guy? Thunderbolt. Okay, we'll be able to move back this way a little bit. Get behind some cover. Going to fire on this guy, and we're going to fire with everything. Oh, that looked like that was a torso hit. But he'll get to go before us. Let's see what he does here. Okay, miss with the AC. Couple of LRMs. Couple or three. He's trying to hide that uh, torso, and I don't blame him. So we're going to move forward. I'm going to sprint forward. I want to get close to these guys, but I don't want to be on this guy's side. I want to be shooting him more from the front. Not a good chance to hit. That's better there. That's about the same, really. So we're going to move into here. Get some evasion tokens up. Not very many. And what do we got on this guy left here? 9 points CT. So we're going to multi-target. We're going to fire against the Centurion and against this guy. Now B, I think we'll send the heavy machine guns and just fire. Okay, plus 7 heat. Stressing them out a little bit. Hmm. I don't think we hit that CT. We may have. No, we did not. Okay, so he's got an Ultra AC, I think. I want that. Either that or he's got two ACs. What's he got here? Oh, BBX. What is that? AC BBX 5. AC 10 B. Okay, interesting. Alright, we need to move again. Uh, let's get ourselves... Hmm... I don't want to get hit by that thing. Yeah, great. Great idea. Turn my back to him. That, that would just be wonderful. Let's get ourselves... How, where can we go here? I want to stay on this guy's flank. So let's move here. Not that far, but still... It's probably better to do this. Drop the flamers on. Going to fire everything on this guy. Okay, there goes the torso, so the AC-20's down. It's probably putting this guy into melee. If we can stress him out a bit more, maybe we can get him to bail out. Okay, these guys still aren't within range. We're going to keep moving to the right, or to the left, I mean. And uh, try and take these guys out before we have to engage these lights. So it is four light reinforcements, or at least three light reinforcements, because this guy was part of the main lance, I think. Hmm, interesting. Another light. So there's five lights, a medium and a heavy. There might be something else back here moving really slowly, but I doubt it. Okay, let's move up. I want to stay... We can't get to a point where we can see both those guys and not have to worry about getting targeted by everybody else here. Unless we move straight ahead. And turn this way. Let's do that. We'll get some evasion chevrons up. Not very many. And let's fire on the commando. And try and remove him from the battle. He does have the large laser still. 
Um, pulling off these guys. Just fire three mediums. Ah. All we need to do is hit that CT, man. We can't even do that. Okay, here comes the Centurion. I knew he'd be in melee range. Or in melee on these guys, so... Yeah, 32 is not that bad. At least it isn't the Brawler Centurion. The Yenlo Wang can be dangerous at close range. So let's get down uh, into here. Ah, I don't like that look. I got 75 back armor though, so across the board. So we're going to move here. And we're going to fire everything on this guy. I want to take him down. So maybe we can burrow right through this, the... Uh, Oh, I missed with the large laser. No! There we go. Alright. A little bit of CT burrow in there. That's a lot of missiles. So I'm thinking there's a ve heavy vehicle back there. Yeah, being in the open was not a good idea. But we have a little extra stability now, so it's not so bad. Yes, Alright, maybe we can kill this guy. I'm not in melee range for this guy yet either, but he did not move. Makes me wish I had jump jets almost. Almost, but not quite. So we're going to get up and into here. We're going to engage this guy. And there's no point in knocking him back a turn. He's got two MRM-10s too, so 361 armor, not that much. Where are the MRMs? Are they in the torsos? That's the ammo. No, that's two MRMs in the one torso there. And then the LB's on the other side, right? Yeah, so let's fire from here. I wonder if we should try for his legs. Nah, he's got a lot of armor. Maybe headshot's the best. Let's do an offensive push. Let's go for a headshot. And we'll fire everything. Got it. Hmm. Tagged anyway. And let's move possum. Awesome possum. Let's get you down in here. We're just gonna walk it down, get our stability back. I don't want to be going without stability. I'm gonna fire three on this guy. Got it. Oh, come on. All you got to do is CT him. Well, at least we hit him in the head. Alright, Savage Steve. We need to take on this guy. So, we're going to walk it around. And we're going to put everything on the Thunderbolt. I'm going to do another offensive push on him. And try for a headshot. I know we're overheating. We don't need the tag. Tagger, that is. Uh, let's see here. Maybe we just leave the heavy machine guns off. We'll leave the tag on. Fire this. Tagged, no headshot. This guy's just being a scout right now. Being a spotter, that is. Trying to stay, al uh, stay alive as long as he can. Okay, Blackjack's milling next turn. Yeah, I know, it's okay. We're going to be milling in a second. So, I don't know what that LRM guy is. It's a assault, it looks like. Here it comes. That's why it's moving so slow. It's just an assault. We haven't had got a chance to see it yet. It's still back here somewhere. Yeah, we can't melee that guy now. I was hoping to do that. I think maybe we'll move back and hit him with the AC2s. Ooh, 50. He's got his back turned to us, though. i got to find out what his armor is here. Maybe we're going to melee him in the back. Yeah, it looks like we're going to melee him in the back. Ready for orders. We're already pretty hot, so let's melee him in the back, see if we can get out of it. Is that a mohawk on his head? What has he got in his head here? <laughs> Hit him with the pipe! Hit him with the pipe! He's a unicorn, that's what it is. An assassin corn. All 
All right, so they don't look like they've got much of an angle on us. So we're gonna move the blackjack back. Where did this guy go? He's down behind the rocks now, so we gotta come over here. We're gonna hit him. But that blackjack's gonna take a turn to cool off. So we're gonna move and fortify. Oh. Commando's moving to a point where we can shoot him again. Damn it. That's why I was hoping he would be dead by now. We've missed him way too many times now. Okay, one more light guy to move. He's probably going to come up and spot. Yep, 3A. Yeah. You can. Fly an egg in here. You can. We can't target that guy without moving out. So, we need to cool off. Let's get down in the woods. Where's the best spot? Like down in here, probably. Gonna need to turn our front to, uh... Yeah. Got no other choice, really. Going on the Jagermech. Okay, no hits. Uh, Steve. Really hoping we can get closer. I shoot both of these guys. I have to sprint out here, though. Even still, like, I can't even... I'd have to come around here to see him. Ah, uh, can't finish up that commando then. So we're gonna just move out. I know we're not gonna get much, uh... Evasion tokens, but that's okay, I think. And we're gonna do another offensive push on him. I'm gonna try for another headshot. And what can we lo loose on this guy here? We'll get more stability with the machine guns. Let's leave the medium laser off. Fire everything. That large laser's got to start hitting more. Alright, what's he doing here? Okay, missing with the big gun. The MRMs I'll take, that's fine. Okay, Prodigy. Good to go. Where did we hit this guy last time? He's got 33 left in his torso. So let's... We have an offensive push left. We're going to move back here. Just enough. Got lots of chevrons of evasion because of our stealth armor. And we're going to do a, an offensive push on this guy. Going to go for this torso. And we're going to fire everything. Firing at enemy. Oh, Really? Critical hit. We just don't have the heavy the heavy punch weapons, that's what it is. Down to 21. So I think the blackjack needs to take another turn to cool off. We're not in any mortal danger right now. These guys don't seem to be moving forward. Pirate Locust though. Okay. Here comes that commando. Ooh, he missed. With two chevrons of Asian, he missed. So we have a target for the blackjack now. Ooh, he shut down. Well, at least now we can target his CT. Okay, here comes another melee attack from the back this time with another commando. Yeah, 21. If I remember correctly, though, this blackjack has got a fair bit of armor on the back, if I'm not mistaken. 40. Yeah, not bad. Not huge, but not bad at all. So, we're going to wheel this way. Can we turn more? We have to sprint, I guess. Oh, really? Is it really that bad over here? I guess so. I have to turn this way. Didn't want to sprint, but we're going to have to uh, because I need to get on this guy. And we're going to use our ACs because the least amount of hit or heat, I mean. And I think we're only going to shoot two. Going to go for a CT hit. Right, Commander. Oh my god, are you serious? Well, I knew better. I shouldn't have done that. Whatever that assault vehicle is back there, I'm not really that worried about it. It is not accurate. So, alright, Steve. 
Uh, let's back up a little bit. Let's give this guy back here a bit more of a target than what uh, he's currently got. Actually, maybe not. We're going to have to pull here, I think. Do this. Okay, we're going to multi-target, though. Firing on the commando and on this guy. And large to B. And medium to B. Actually, put, let's put the medium on A. Tagger on A. And everything else to B. Like this. And fire. Engaging multiple Are you serious? Okay, we finally got a pilot hit. He's only got two left. So we gotta take that torso and knock him down. Ah, uh, we got some structure exposed now. Yeah. What's up, boss? <sighs> okay, we gotta take this guy out now. So we're gonna move here. And we're gonna offensive push. Let's get this guy's torso gone. Fire everything. Wow. Why even bother offensive pushing if I can't take what Oh he bailed out! <gasps> yes! Salvage! Okay, cool. Now let's focus on bailing this blackjack out. I think we can kill this guy and attack this guy. Pirate locust with machine guns. It's not so bad as long as I'm in the forest. Except for the heat problem, of course. Dang pirates. Well, we could always retreat. Here comes that commando. He shifted targets for some reason. And he's certainly turning his back to me, so... Let's take advantage of that. Uh, I don't want to move where that guy can see me, but I do want to move... Maybe like here. And turn... So that's the left side that's damaged. Gonna keep the right side turned to those guys over there. Let's move over here. Get some stability back. Not a lot, but enough. Gonna fire on this guy's back. How, with how much can we use here? If we can fire everything, we will. So let's fire it all on this guy's back. Nice. Oh, bang! You're dead. Okay. I was worried that we we're gonna have to bail out of this mission, but not now. That's that vehicle. When you get some good mech salvage out of this, and we, we've only got two of nine salvage, unfortunately, chosen on this mission. So we're going to get what we get, but uh, do my best to uh, keep as many mech parts, I think, as possible. So let's move down here. Actually, you know what? Oh, our melee's horrible on this guy, though. So let's just walk it down, get our stability back. We're going to fire on this guy's front side. Uh, let's take off... Medium lasers are 82. That's gonna fire with the two medium lasers. Oh my god, really? 82% you missed both? This guy's got like a halo over his head or something. Like... And he didn't even have any evasion. Like, I don't even understand how that is. Oh my god. Okay, our assassin's gotta get in there now. Yeah, we gotta kill this, uh... We gotta kill this locust. Yeah, he's got the he pirate heavy machine guns, which are increasing heat. But, like, no armor. So I'm wondering if we just go bang your dad on this guy. Let's try it. Can't fire everything, though. Um, flamers are doing, what, 15 each? So the SRM-2s are the logical choice to leave off with this one. So let's fire on them. Tagged. We do very minimal damage with this guy, unless we're meleeing. So I'm going to have to rectify that somehow. Switch those light mach light machine guns out for something closer range, like regular machine guns or something. Or even heavies. If we can, if we could find clan heavy machine guns, that would be great. Armor's holding. 
Good stuff. There's only five left. I don't know if he can get down off here now. He's got to come around. Ooh, you want to play the back game, do you? You don't have any armor, dude. That's not the kind of game you want to be playing. Good to go. Okay, let's keep moving this way. Um, we're going to move to... Just going to walk it over to here. And going to keep our right side of the other guys. Going to fire on this guy. So the mediums can come down. And just fire the two ACs. Firing on target. Both hit. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Excellent. Here comes those missiles. Going after the Jaeger. Don't blame them. It is kind of an imposing mech on the battlefield. Even though its arms are full of machine guns, it's still uh, pretty threatening. So we're going to turn this way. I want to engage both of these guys again with whatever I can. Um, so we're going to put machine guns... God, really? I don't know. Machine guns on A. Tag is going to be medium lasers to... Well... Let's go this route. Yeah, hey, we can use the large too if we wanted to. Large should go to B though. Let's fire. Is that enough? Finally! Finally the guy's luck ran out. Missing with that large again. Well, not that it mattered because we just killed two mechs. And that shifts the, the balance of power on the battlefield. Three against three, but R3 is definitely worth, worth way more than their three. So let's get you around here. You'll be able to cool off. Stay behind that rock so that guy can't shoot you. Let's see what they do here. Here comes their scout. It's a flea. Yeah. I'm going to reserve possum for now. Because I want to use the Jager mech to strip armor off this guy first. Actually, you know what? I think it's probably better if she targets first and then he pan he uses the uh, machine Wait gun's crit chance against these guys. So let's go this way. On my way. And we'll fire whatever we can. we got two ACs. we we'll probably fire a couple of mediums. Yeah, we'll fire these. Okay, a couple hits. Nice. Left arm. That's a critical hit. So the aggro mech doesn't want to get too close. We're going to back up a little bit. Just turn this way. Got one chevron of evasion. That's enough. We'll leave the large off. And fire the rest. Large isn't really hitting anyway, so... Nice crits there. Right, right torso, left torso. He bailed. Yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. See a space cowboy and a spider. Alright, so this is turning out to be a good solid mission. We could have definitely benefited from having um, jump jets here. But I don't think they were as much like required as we thought they would be. Oh, it's a catapult A1. Ooh. Not bad. Putting everything on this guy. I really hope we got a lot of mech pieces as salvage. Okay. Commander? Possum, let's... Can we get into the trees to shoot this guy? No, we have to move back here. Oh, we can over here, though. Coordinates received. It's kind of in the trees. And what can we shoot? No, just these four. I'm just going to fire. What's he going to do here? Point blank shot? Nope. We gave him some nice juicy targets back here to shoot for, so... Okay, so where's this guy hit here? Mostly the right side. So we're just going to move up with Steve, and we're going to shoot this guy in the right. And I think we can use everything. Nope. Let's leave one medium off. Hmm... 
leave, leave a, one of the heavy machine guns off. There's no point leaving everything on. God, that large laser is just missing so much. Okay. What's he doing here? Sure. Why not? Receiving you. Uh, where's this guy hit here? Not really anywhere. Let's just move up. Here. Affirmative. And just fire on this guy. Structure's exposed, but we didn't get any uh, head hits or anything, unfortunately. Alright, shooting this guy in the back. No, just with this. Is he gonna stay? He's gonna stay around to die, sure. Trying to finish it up with some damage. So, it's going to cost us a lot to repair, but I think this was a fun battle overall. It's more its more what I care about is how fun this was. So let's just fire these. Bang, you're dead. Nice, let's get that catapult now. Enemy mech destroyed. I just want another mech. Once we get four, things will change slightly. Uh, so let's move... Um, here? And we're going to take a shot for this guy's head. And we'll leave off a couple of the SRM2s. Any luck? Oh, one hit. Okay. Commander? Can we get to a point where we can see this guy, though, with, this, with her? I don't think so. There's nowhere where we can see this guy. So we're just going to move up here. Right, Commander. We've already pushed him back, so now uh, Savage Steve can go. Gonna move in a little closer. Do another offensive push on him. We're gonna try for a headshot. And we're gonna fire with as many little things as we can. Leave off one medium laser. There's another one. Just need one more. Oh, you stinker. Damage minimal. Okay, Prodigy, first thing. Let's back up here. Let's not get into a position where he can shoot us with missiles. Uh, we're still pretty close. So we got enough for, I think, two more offensive pushes? Looks like it. So we're going to attempt that. I think we're going to put the SRMs on instead of the flamers. And go for a headshot and fire. Ah, crap. Well, Target eliminated. we tried. All right, so here's our here's our salvage screen. A lot of stuff up here. Thunderbolt. Tons of tons, tons and tons of thunderbolt pieces. But I think we want this for sure. We want this auto cannon. Minus ten AC damage, three recoil. Heavy auto cannon. What's the weight in this? Twelve long range. What's the benefit of this guy then? There is no benefit. I mean... MRM-10s though. But we don't have a mech that can use them. Endosteel. Definitely use that. Uh, fusion core for cash maybe? I don't know. We got Pharaoh down here anywhere. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Small cockpit. Nope. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, oh, we got Pharaoh right here. I think we're gonna do that. Take that Pharaoh, take the Endo, it's gonna help out a little bit, and then let's see what kind of mech pieces we get. Commando, <laughs> two fleas on a locust. <laughs> oh, why don't you just shoot me now? We got one engine core, but it's the small one and a couple of heat sinks. Oh well, could have been worse. Alright, well, we didn't make very much cash off of that one in our. Uh, uh, 
repair times are pushing us back into um, the next month. So we're going to change this slightly. I think it should be better this way. It should only be 17 days as opposed to, uh, yeah, that's a little better. Oh, Blackjack's at 27? How is that possible, though? Don't we have both mech? Oh, we don't have both. Uh, do we? I thought we had both. Um, we do. We have the second mech bay up and running in this, so it's probably just calculating math-wise incorrectly. I guess it's going to add it onto the Jager mech rather than the Assassin. So this should really only be 12. This will be 17 days. Yeah, that's probably what it's doing. Although, I don't know why... Yeah, there we go. That's better. That makes more sense. All right. So that's going to be the end of the episode for this time. Um, when we come back next episode, I'll have my mechs uh, updated slightly, and I'll show you what, we, what I did with them. And we'll get it right back into another mission, try to make some more cash on this planet before we for, before we jump to a new one. Right now, we're um, sort of just on the edge of the Tortuga Dominions. I think what we're, probably what we're going to do is we're going to start... Uh, attacking some of these Davian planets around here, see what we can get off them. Kind of work our way along this way here. And then back up and out this way. So, yeah. Anyways, as you can see with from the uh, Chevrons here, there's still a lot of um, players playing Rogue Tech, so they've, they've saved their uh, game like I have and are playing offline, which is kind of cool. However, the, um, the fact that the... Uh, I guess I could have reinstalled and had the... Uh, a local store instead but right now if we go to uh, store we still have the same oh we don't that's interesting it's updated somehow interesting perhaps with the stuff that we entered into like flea parts the MRM 136,000 for the MRM but we don't have anybody that can use it really well the assassin could How much does it weigh? Three tons for an MRM-10? Really? Minus one accuracy. Uses LRMs. Cannot use dead fire. Hmm. What else do we have down here? Anything interesting? I don't think so. Maybe we get lucky and find dead, dead fire ammo here. No? Yes? No? No luck. Nothing else that we can really use down here. Primitive cockpits. Fusion core, nope. Pirate heavy machine gun, we don't even have the cash for that. Yeah, we're going to have to leave it as this, I guess. Well, there's an AC2 that we could throw on something, but what's the point? All right, end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. If you did, drop a like. Please feel free to subscribe. Check out my other series, uh, Rogue Tech Cold Forged, and my um, f a Battletech Flashpoint series, The 900. They are up and updated daily, so have a look at those as well. And until next time, we'll see you all later.